Hi everyone. So in this video, we'll going to discuss interesting and a challenging problem. Okay, it's not a very easy problem to solve. I would say, but definitely you can understand and learn a lot from this problem. Okay, and we will also look how we can combine multiple data structures to solve a single. So let's begin with the problem board game. So given a list of words and you're given a M cross N board. It's a, like a two D array where every cell has one character okay so it's it's a matrix is given where every cell has a character inside it you need to find all the possible words that are part of the list okay and that can be formed by a sequence of adjacent characters from the board okay maybe you start picking adjacent characters and you find okay if i combine these characters in a row or in some manner such that every character is adjacent to each other uh the other character right and we can move to any of the eight adjacent characters okay from any given uh, character you can move in eight directions okay and that means for any uh, cell you have eight neighbors except for the cells on the boundary but a word should not have multiple instances of the same cell that means you cannot come back to the same character for example if this word is s you cannot go and traverse and then again come back to s okay so that's what it says so it will be more clear with the help of one example so this is the list of words that is given to you okay and you're given this m cross n board where m is 3 and n is 4 three rows and four columns you need to find all possible words that are part of the list and can be formed by a sequence of adjacent character from the board and we can move to eight adjacent characters okay so there is a word snake can we form the word snake by combining adjacent characters so yes from s we can go to a character n then we can go to a then we can go to k and then we can go to one of its neighbors so e is one of its neighbors the word snake can be formed the answer would be yes can we uh, form the word for so you can see f is not there so this word cannot be formed can we form q u e z we, we don't have q it cannot be formed can we form the word snack the answer is yes why from s we can go to n from n we can go to a from a we can go to c and from c we can go to k so snack can be formed okay and what about snacks snacks can also be formed that's great from k we can go to s so it says a word should not be a uh, word should not have multiple instances of the same cell so that's we are making sure we are, we, can, we are not saying we are coming back to the same cell in the same word okay but that cell can be used across different words so we have s c n s so let's see if we can form this word from s we can go to e okay from e we can go to n and from n we cannot go back to s okay so we need another neighbor that should have value s but s is already used inside this particular path so we cannot go back to s the answer is no we cannot have this particular word and then we have tunes do we have t yes from t u n e and s we can form the word tunes okay, like this and similarly cat so cat is there so we can form the word cat as well so cat will be yes so, so I hope you are getting this idea. Okay, so we have seen what is the input and what is the output. So in the output, you will get tunes, snake, cat, snack, and so. But now the question is, how do we solve such a problem? It looks like a complex problem to solve. Okay, so let us start breaking down um, our logic. Okay, we'll start with the kind of a brute force approach. Uh, maybe brute force approach will say, go to every cell in the board and try to form all possible words okay maybe from uh, find all possible words starting from the word s maybe uh, s e r t is a word s e r t s is a word s e r t s is a word s n a is a word so there would be so many words okay but that would again lead to a very inefficient kind of a solution and the exp uh, time complexity will explode okay so we need to do something better so we also need to use this information that is provided to us okay can we make use of this information 
answer is yes so uh, how we can make this use of this information okay so now using this information we can actually guide our dfs search okay we are going, going kind of doing a recursive calls that is now you can consider this 2d matrix as a grid or as a implicit graph where every cell is connected to eight adjacent cells okay so each x y is connected in eight directions so that means every node has eight neighbors so from every node you can go in eight possible directions but do we really need to go in eight possible directions? the answer is no if we know uh, starting from the word s we only need to go in few directions okay maybe from s we have a word snake so maybe we can go to n we have another word snack maybe we can again go to n we have another sn we can again go to n and maybe there is a word scns maybe we can go to e as well but and there is no other word starting from s okay so when you're at s you can make a guess that it's it makes sense to go to e it makes sense to go to n but it doesn't make any sense to go to u so you will actually not make a call on you so this is how do you figure this thing out okay so this can be made possible if we just have all the prefixes inside a try okay you make a try and that try will guide where the dfs call should be made okay For, uh, maybe let's insert snake in the try so snake has been inserted let's insert for for goes inside try quiz goes inside try snack goes inside try Snacks also goes inside try and SENS, SCNS, this also goes inside try. Tunes, maybe T U N E S, this also goes and cat, cat also goes inside try. So now using this try, can you figure out how you will make calls? Okay, so the idea is. You start from s you start going in a direction you ask the try okay if i go to s can i go to e it will say yes you can go to e then at e you look at at what nodes you can go you can only go to n so at e you can see is there a node can i go to r the answer is no can i go to u the answer is no can i go to n the answer is yes because this node is present in the try so you go here at n you can go into uh, k you can go to c you can go to t you can go to u but try will tell you you can only go to the node s but we will also maintain what nodes we have covered so far in the path okay we, this this node is already visited okay so visited 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 so at a node which is now visited you cannot go back to a node which has been visited in the same path so the answer will be no this word is not present so maybe sense is not present then you pick okay let's try to go to some other node uh, let's try to go to n okay so it will say okay you go to n at n you will say okay you can go to uh, you cannot you can also go to c you can also go to a maybe let's go to a at a you can say you, we can go to k yes you can go to k because k is there and at here you can say i, I can go to e yes i can go to e because e is not visited in the current path okay so the new uh, word that you will form is going to be like this s n a a and e okay so snake will be one word that you will definitely get by making this dfs call right and uh, once you're at like leaf node you can say okay this this word is already uh, there and maybe from e you come back you come back to k and you can see k is also there okay once you reach the leaf node you do not need to stop okay uh, s n a c k so the word is snack so maybe we went here we went here we made a call here we made a call here and we found out the word snake and then we came back here maybe we uh, made a call here we found out the word SNKS, but it is not there. Okay, we don't have this S in the try. Maybe we came back and at A we say, okay, let us try to make a call on C. C is there in the try because we have this word snacks. At C we made a call on A. Now K is not a path of the part of the current current word. Okay, so what is the current word that you have formed? SNAC. 
and from here you can go to k and from k you can go to s and at this point you see this is a terminal load in the try and definitely you add this word in your answer okay so snacks is included in your answer and similar thing you have to do from every node you go to e you do the 8 with dfs you go to r you go do the 8 with dfs you go to t you do the same okay so what is happening is uh, you're doing a 8 way dfs search from every cell to find out the words which are valid and at any point you find the node at which i'm going is not present in the try okay you come back okay and at any point you find that the node that i have reached is a terminal node in the try so what do you do you keep that answer in your final answer and you continue your exploration you don't stop at that particular point okay for example the word snack is there so k is a terminal node the word snacks is also there so you don't stop at k okay so if you find the word snack inside try both k and s are terminal nodes right this is a terminal node this is a terminal node. So what do you do you don't stop at k you put snack in the final list of your uh, words and you also continue exploring so maybe you reach snacks and then you see okay this is also there let's put this in in the final list as well okay so you have to do eight way dfs search from every cell but it's not a blind search it's a guided search and who is going to guide this search the try is going to tell you whether you should go to this node or not okay so try is going to guide and control this search and it will also help you to reduce a lot of time complexity okay so that's for the hint part and uh, i hope you would be able to write code and if you're not see uh, catch me in the next video where we will discuss the implementation for this particular problem that's all see you guys in the next part